what is up guys welcome to the channel today i'm going to be mixing a track by pg brown it's called firework we're going to be using nothing but the stock plugins that come with studio one so let's jump into it i can make your firework your firework tonight i can make your firework okay first thing you want to do is uh, pull up a compressor going to your inserts type in compressor and pulling this plugin up uh, first thing I'm gonna do is dial in the threshold make sure I'm seeing some compression happening and then kind of listen make sure it's not over compressed again it's a kind of a taste thing the more you mix the more you'll get used to how a vocal should sound do inside your eyes I, I. I can feel your body move to the I can make a firework Okay, so we're doing a healthy amount of compression. Once we've got that dialed in, we're going to tweak the attack knob. Now for main vocals, I generally like to slow the attack time down. It's going to let the vocal cut through more. A faster attack is going to give you a softer vocal, a more crushed sound. Let's go ahead and tweak the attack time. I can make a firework, your firework tonight. See how it opens up more. Once you got the attack dialed in, you're going to adjust the release. Now, a fast release is going to be spitty, more aggressive. A slower release is going to give you a more smooth sound. So, the settings will be different every time. Just keep that in mind. All I'm really trying to see is inside your mind. Let me do what I need to do to ignite your fire. Right, so I love that, that sounds great to me. I'm gonna adjust the gain on the compressor. Give it to you. I can make your firework, your firework tonight. We've got the compressor dialed in. I'm now gonna add Pro EQ. First thing is to grab the slow cut and just pull it up until you're cutting the rumbliness, but you're not losing anything important in the low end of the vocal. Let's go ahead and listen and tweak it while we listen to it in context of the mix. Give it to you. I can make your firework, your firework tonight. I can make your firework. Okay, so in this 150, 200 range, uh, region, that's where it sounds uh, the best to me. Next thing is I'm just going to boost and add some brightness to the vocal. There's no rules. You can boost however much you want. Um, you can move this frequency knob. Just basically listen to it and find where's the sweet spot for the song. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. Give it to you. I can make your firework, your firework tonight. I can make your firework, your firework tonight. Okay, so I really like how that brightens up the vocal. Just adds a little bit of harshness. So to tame that, I'm gonna grab another EQ band and I'm gonna seek the harshness out and I'm gonna cut it out a little bit. So let's go ahead and do that. Give it to you. I can make your firework, your firework tonight. I can make your firework, your firework tonight. Your firework, your firework tonight. I can make your firework, your firework tonight. Speak your mind, let your conscious direct you. Yeah. Okay, so now that we've smoothed the vocal out a little bit, it's time to tame some of the tubbiness, some of the lower mids. So I'm gonna grab the EQ band. Be careful, if you cut too much, your vocal's gonna sound wimpy. There's gonna be a sweet spot where you clean it up just enough, but you still got that body in it. Go ahead and pull this band, and we're gonna sweep around and just find where it sounds good, okay? Give it to you. I can make your firework, your firework tonight. I can make your firework, your firework tonight. Let's go ahead and add some effects. I really like this analog delay. It's gonna sound good right out the gate. You just need to tweak this mix knob. I can feel your body move to the grind of mine. Okay, 
high and low cut that's gonna just kind of get it out of the way of the main vocal a little bit more so like for rap i might have six or seven percent on the mix knob singing anywhere from 10 to 15 percent backing vocals ad libs anything i want to sound spacey crank it up to 20 30 percent and now we're going to add some reverb first you right click and you go to add effects channel you're going to click this box at the bottom and i like to color it green just so i know it's an effects channel you grab this pedal board plugin you're going to click down here and you're going to add a reverb you're going to turn the mix all the way up you're going to turn the dampening down a little bit and the size up go back to your vocal you're going to go to sins and you're going to send some of that vocal to the reverb and you're going to adjust the levels of it i can feel your body move to the grind of my, my. Now the size and the dampening is going to be different every time you mix a song. The mix is always going to be all the way up if you put it on the bus. I can feel your body move to the grind of mine. Okay, once you got the reverb dialed in, then you're going to adjust the low and the high cut on the reverb just to kind of smooth it out, get it out of the way. I can feel your body move to the grind of mine. mine. Now the only thing left to do is I kind of want to smooth these S's and a little bit of the sharpness out. So I'm going to grab this multi-band dynamics plugin. Now be careful with this plugin. You can fuck your mix all the way up. When you click this button on, it's going to be bypass. So bypass everything except this high mid band. And then you're going to just drag it. Uh, take this top one to like 12K. Take this one up to like mm, four or five K. You can solo it and listen to it if you want. That's what we're trying to cut out. So make sure you unsolo it. And then you're just going to tweak this low threshold knob. Give it to you. I can make your firework. Your firework tonight. I felt like the vocal wasn't bright enough, so I just turned the brightness up a little bit. Now back to the de -esser. But again, if you don't understand this plugin, just maybe avoid it. This is just like some sweetening. Just want you to know that you can get a pro sound with the stock plugins. Give it to you. I can make your firework, your firework tonight. Okay, that sounds sweet to me now. I'm now going to copy all my plugins over to my ad libs. Once I do that, I'm going to make a couple changes. The compressor, instant attack time. It's going to crush the background vocals, put them more in the back. And then I'm going to turn the effects up more. See what you want to do. What you want to do is completely up to you. Ladies absolutely know what they want. All right, then I turn the volume down more. I'm going to add an additional EQ. Now with this EQ, I'm going to grab the high cut and pull it down until it smooths those backing vocals out. See what you want to do. What you want to do is completely up to you. All right, now I'm going to grab the low cut. See what you want to do. What you want to do is completely up to you. Ladies absolutely know what they want. If you want a real radio effect, you're going to cut a shit ton of lows out. This stuff is going to change every time you mix a song, um, your high cut, your low cut. And then also you can make something sound more aggressive if you boost in these ranges. And you can kind of play with where you want the background vocals to sit in the EQ range. See what you want to do. What you want to do is completely up to you. Ladies absolutely know what they want. So I'm gonna give it to you. I can make your firework, your firework tonight. Great, so once all the vocals are dialed in, you're gonna go ahead and add a limiter down here where it says post. All you really need to do with this uh, limiter plugin is just pull the threshold down until it's doing a little bit of compression. It's inside your mind. Now keep in mind when you start compressing more it's going to change your mix a little bit you might have to go back and tame some stuff or you might have to boost some stuff 
it's all in context in the mix and it's all taste. Try not to go too crazy with the compression on the master bus, just enough to give you some extra volume and kind of control everything. It's inside your mind. Now the only thing left to do is EQ the beat a little bit. Um, I'm gonna play with cutting some low mids to make more space for the vocals. It depends on the beat. Some beats may be mixed perfectly right out the gate. Other beats might have too much going on. You have to cut a lot out. So um, again, this is stuff that's gonna change every time you mix a different song. Try not to worry about it too much. Just use your ears. It's inside your mind. Let me do what I need to do to ignite your fire. A lot of times this 300 and 500 hertz can build up in beats and that just eats vocals up. So um, doing some little cuts here can really give some more room for the vocals. Now, once that's done, um, I feel like I can brighten and, and add a little bit more crispiness to the beat. So I'm gonna add a high shelf, just play with it a little bit. It's inside your mind. Let me do what I need to do to ignite your fire. I can make a firework, your firework tonight. I can make a firework, your firework tonight. I can make a firework, your firework. All right, so that's going to do it for this mix. Appreciate you guys tuning in. If you have any questions at all, Drop them in the comments. Um, subscribe to my channel. I will be posting more content regularly. Let me know what you guys would like to see more of. Um, if you would like to get your song mixed by me, feel free to shoot me an email at shafermixing at gmail.com. That's S-H-A-F-E-R mixing at gmail.com. Thank you so much for watching. I can make a fire, your fire.